Hey guys, Automotive Garage here today, back, and we have a 0360 F350 here, and these bearings on the front. It's got the grown and the rough bearing feel to it. So we're gonna show y'all today how to do this hub assembly, and this will apply for sure from 99 to 07, and then for the 08 through 10s on the 64, this is almost identical, slightly different, but it'll be very similar to that also. So we're gonna show y'all how to do this bearing hub assembly, very simple, really easy. You don't even have to get that dirty to do it. So let's get busy and let me show you. So for the job here, you need a 22, 21, and 17 millimeter half inch sockets. You'll need either a three inch ratchet or like this here, Milwaukee ratchet with an eight millimeter socket on end, three inch extension. Here's your half inch ratchet. You'll need a breaker bar, a torque wrench. Uh, you don't necessarily have to have these. This makes it easier to get the brake caliper out using a pry bar. 13 16 deep well with some kind of wobble head on it, an external snap ring pliers, and a hammer probably come in handy too and a five millimeter Allen socket or five millimeter Allen wrench. So let's get busy. Forgot to mention, you need a half inch extension also. So you use your 22 millimeter socket. On the dually version, this is what you have to do. If this was a uh, 250 or smaller, you wouldn't be having to do this portion right here. <clears throat> you would start right off with removing the brakes. But for 350s and up, this is what you have to do. So we have removed all of our nuts here from our hub extension here for the dually. Now is when you gotta give it a little bit of love to get it off. jump on to doing taking our brake off but you can just remove this whole bracket with the caliper on it but when you go to put it back on a lot of times you got to mess with your brake pads again to slide back over the rotor so i prefer to just take the caliper off and the bracket off both and put them back on individually makes it a lot easier now we're going to use our half inch ratchet and our 17 millimeter socket Take this out, and this is a good time to clean your brake sliders right here. That will make the brakes drag sometime if they're not lubed up good. caliper and set it up on your leaf spring for the early ones or your radius arm for the later ones and now what you're left with here is your bracket with your brake pads in it which we're going to remove with our 21 millimeter socket these will be rather snug So to put this better in perspective, I'm sorry I didn't give you a good shot a minute ago. This was your break. The 17 millimeters we took out. And this is the slider I was talking about greasing. I actually did brakes on this truck for the customer not that long ago. So these are all greased up good. The seal glides, I always clean them every single time and grease them when I do brakes. Because I don't want anybody's stuff dragging. And these are the two bolts that you're taking out. 
for the bracket here for your caliper. Set our bolts with our leaf spring. There's our bracket, and our pads are just going to stay in it. We can take our rotor off now. Now we can get down to the nitty gritty here. That eight millimeter that I mentioned earlier. Just forgetting this. Forgetting the uh, ABS line off here. So we're going to back that out. This is what you need your snap ring pliers for. Because you have that snap ring there, you have a flat washer, you have that hexagon shaped washer, and then you have another flat washer behind it in that order. We're gonna take this snap ring off, slide the washers off, then that's all free. Then all we have left to do is undo our bolts on the back side here. Let's see if I can get that for y'all. There's one nut there. There's the other one there. So you got four all together, one in each corner. You get all those loose. They're torqued to 130 foot pounds, so they're gonna be kind of tight. That's why you need a, probably need a breaker bar and then use you, if you have access to one electric ratchet and back them all out and the hub will come off. So uh, I'm not gonna be able to get that shot. My hands just being in the way the whole time. So I showed you all the nuts. So I'll just show you all me getting them undone. Here's your three washers. And we're using our 13 sixteenth. There's one. There's the nut in the back, the 13 sixteenth. We'll go for this top one now. You have to turn your CV axle a little bit to be able to get in here. Sometimes it's easier to get the socket on first. And sometimes that happens. The whole stud comes out. A lot of times because this has been replaced before, I'm sure. Somebody didn't torque this down into the hub assembly. I don't actually put a torque wrench on it, but I double stack the nuts on the top and I do tighten them down into the hub real good. Get the ones on the front. They're a little bit more fun because you get to deal with the steering linkage up here. pull our hub out. This is when you got to give it a little persuasion sometimes too. There it comes. I got to turn y'all off for a minute because this ABS line one's right behind my camera here. Alright, we got our ABS line off there's the plug for it. Turn this line back this way. There's our plug for it. The hub assembly just comes out like that. We're gonna take this shield off. 
And this whole thing can go in your scrap pile. Oh, look at there. Hey, I wish I could have got that on camera. I probably didn't see it. There's what's left of the needle bearing. The shaft's right in the way. There's what's left of the needle bearing right there. So yeah, that was done. Which I think both of these are making some racket anyways. And you got a little plastic cap in here. Here's your needle bearing. And these are actually pretty dry. I wasn't real happy with that. So what I'm gonna do, I put a little extra bearing grease on these just for a little bit of reassurance. Make sure everything else looks good in here. We're not worried about any seals or anything on this one. None of the O-rings replacing any of this other seal in, up in here because uh, if you notice the hub was out of here already, so I didn't show doing that. It's just one little snap ring taking it out. But uh, we're swapping over to the mile marker hubs on this truck because uh, he's had issues with his hubs locking. He has to rely on his four wheel drive, moving some equipment on some job sites on occasion. Uh, was very disappointed here recently because his hubs weren't locking up good anymore, even when he manually locked them. So I said, hey, let's see either go with mile marker or warrant either way. The mile marker's a little bit cheaper. They still got a lifetime warranty. So that's what we're doing with this. So let me grease this up and we'll start putting it back together. Now we're torquing our nuts on the back of our hub studs here. Uh, there is a discrepancy when you look these up on what the torque's supposed to be. They're all the way from 55 to 133 foot pounds. I've always gone, gone 130 foot pounds and it works just fine. So that's what we're doing. installing our washer, the plastic hex washer, and the other flat washer. Slide them on. Get your snap ring pliers. Grab your snap ring back. Or throw it on the floor. you hear it snap and then check it at factory hubs you'd be reinstalling your factory hub but we're installing uh, the mile marker premium locking hubs on here which I like way better than using the factories These don't have just plastic guts in them like the uh, factory hubs do. I still have factory hubs on my personal trunk, but all my vacuum stuff still works currently. But when I have an issue, I'll either be going with these or the worn premiums. 
which we went with these on this project because the war premiums were on back order, just like everything else right now due to Corona. So we went with the mile markers, which still have a lifetime warranty. You do not grease these, you can install them greaseless. Push that in just like that. You take your spiral lock. And you're going to start feeding it in the groove here. This takes a little bit of patience sometimes. And just like before. Make sure you're seated. You don't always use these, but on this particular truck and model, you can use this other snap ring also. It fills up the rest of the groove here. Just like that. You install your hub. You have a locating pin here. You notice there you have your extra hole for your locating pin. Install your Allen. On the directions here, there's no torque for this. Just give it a good little hunk of dunk Make sure they're tight, don't overdo it. Now once you get done tightening here, make sure you have nice, easy operation here. And that's how you install Basically, worn or mile markers. They're the same as far as installation goes. Before you install your rotor, now we're going to reinstall our bracket, our brakes here. We got our bracket installed. We're going to reinstall our caliper now. And like I said, this is a good time to clean and lube up your sliders. I did brakes on this truck probably less than 10,000 miles ago. These sliders are still clean, sliding good, good with the seal glide on it. There's a horse fly trying to land on you. He landed on you. Hang on. Don't move. I'm sorry. Now, if you're doing this on a 250 or a single wheel 350, you'd be done at this point. But since this is a, a dually, a dual rear, rear wheel, we got to reinstall our, our wheel adapter here. Forgot to mention, don't forget to reinstall your hold down for your ABS line here. That is, if you have ABS. And then, route your hose and put it back. And we'll hold down here. Hmm. 
This one is rounded like this way on a six maybe. Plug it back in. And there you go. Tell you replace a wheel hub and install aftermarket hubs, or if you're not doing aftermarket hubs, you put your factory back in. So, it's Automatic Garage signing out. Y'all like, subscribe, comment, check us out at Facebook, automaticgarage.com, Instagram, and Rumble also. We always got some Power Stroke videos coming up, other diesel trucks coming, in, and some Duramaxes too. So, y'all stay tuned and uh, watch our other videos, and don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. We'll holler at y'all later.